Hi, hello, welcome back to another Danny May Bakes baking during quarantine. We're not quarantined, none of us are sick, but we are doing our part in social distancing. So I have been watching a lot of YouTube because we're bored and Tasty just put out, well not just, in the last few weeks when I'm filming this, put out a video for four minute, 40 minute and four hour cinnamon rolls. And I got really inspired by the four hour banana walnut giant cinnamon roll. So that's what we're gonna try tackling today, see how it tastes and you know, gain some uh, quarantine weight. <laughs> so let's go put up our hair, wash our hands and get aproned up and move over to the kitchen. All right, so here we are, my hands are washed and oy vey, anybody else have just the driest hands right now from all the hand washing we have to do? <sighs> okay, moving on. So I have my recipe in front of me since I've never done this one. I'm really excited because I've always wanted to taste test the tasty recipes and actually do this, but um, I haven't had a chance yet. And so I've been doing a lot of baking. Yeah, we've been very bored. Okay, so first we're gonna make the dough. So I need to do some stuff. I will link the recipe below just so that we can do it. So I have some warm milk. It's supposed to be warm to the touch. I couldn't find my thermometer. Normally my daughter runs away with it, but um, it's warm to the touch because that's gonna help our yeast to bloom. So I have two cups of that. It calls for whole milk and I never have whole milk in my house. Plus right now um, there's a limit on dairy. So I'm trying this with evaporated milk. We'll see if it works because I thought it would give just a little bit more of that richness. Okay. And then I have a stick of melted butter and half a cup of granulated sugar. And we're gonna whisk this. Okay. That looks okay. Now I'm going to sprinkle a packet of active dry yeast. Now, I don't buy packets, I buy the stuff, and this one's been in my freezer for a while, so I'm curious to know if it's still alive. That's why we proof it. And if not, well, we'll see. So I'm sprinkling, and I let it sit for a minute to see if it starts to foam. So uh, we'll be back to see if this is alive or not. Fingers crossed. I'm back. My yeast was dead. I had to throw it out. Luckily, I have other yeast that I'm trying and fortunately it is the bread machine yeast, which is more of an instant yeast, so I don't have to proof it, which is kind of nice. So I did all my stuff again. I have let it sit for just a little bit and now I am gonna be adding in four cups of flour. We're gonna mix this up with a rubber spatula. So like I said, I have been baking a lot during this time of uh, social distancing and slash, you know, self. My husband doesn't like when I say self-isolation because we aren't sick, but you know, just the staying home, trying to keep everything good. So I've been baking and watching YouTube. Let me know what you've been doing up in the comments to deal because life can't be all about baking and YouTube, unfortunately. Except for my channel. Okay, so I have combined this and it's quite sticky, but I remember her saying it is a very shaggy dough. So now I am going to cover this with a towel and put it in a warm place to rise for an hour. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if this yeast works. All right, see you in a minute. Here we are at my stove. You can see I have my dough rising in the background. So I'm adding half a stick of butter and a half a cup of brown sugar and a tablespoon of cinnamon and a half teaspoon of salt together. And I am going to let this melt together and it's gonna become like a nice really thick syrup hopefully and I think it's going to be delicious and we add in our 
chopped bananas. It's about three bananas worth. And we're gonna cook these for about six or seven minutes. So. I would say I'm gonna give it one minute. One moment. Let's give it one moment. I'm gonna call this done. So I'm gonna transfer it to a bowl so that it can cool because it'll be used later. So my dough has definitely risen, which is super exciting. Woohoo! And now what I'm going to do is I am going to add in a mixture of salt. It is, what's my recipe say? Two teaspoons of salt and a teaspoon of baking powder. And I'm going to sprinkle that in. And I'm also going to add in about three quarters of a cup more of flour. I have four cups or one cup here. So I'm just going to, you know, do that. And I have to now stir it and knead it. So let me just go make sure my hands are clean in one more second. Now, I need to cut this into four strips. I'm going to go in half, in half. They're not quite even, but you know what? That's fine. Starting from here, roll the first strip up. been letting it rise for about an hour. It said it only needed a half hour and it's supposed to fill this pan. I think mine is way bigger than theirs. So I'm going to call it and this one is going to go into the oven. So let's do that. While my giant cinnamon roll is going, I am making my glaze. I think they call it a glaze. It's a cream cheese icing and it sounds delicious. So I have softened four ounces of cream cheese, added a cup of powdered sugar, Two tablespoons of milk, two tablespoons of butter. And now I just need to add in a teaspoon of vanilla. That was a bit more than a teaspoon. We like vanilla though, right? Right. I don't think I softened my cream cheese enough. It's a little chunky. But I think this is gonna be delicious. So I covered it for the last 35, 40 minutes. But look at how beautiful. We gotta let this cool for 20 minutes now before we're allowed to ice it and eat it. I am so excited. Well, there you have it. Our four hour tasty banana walnut cinnamon roll. Let me know if there's any other tasty recipes that you would like me to try or any other type. I really enjoyed doing this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. So as always, please remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you've made it this far and share it with your friends. And until next time, mwah!